And Hudspeth County is probably about as big as half the state of Colorado. We were, and it's right on the border. We were driving along in his car. He had a 30-30, open side 30-30, sitting next to us, in between us here, I guess. And uh, we had a couple of uh, deputies following us in a pickup truck. And we were right along the border. And the sheriff kept saying to me, look at, uh, right, here's where they came through the other day. Here's where they drive their trucks through. This is called something, something crossing because there's so many people coming across. It's not on the map like that. It's just what we call it down here because so many people are coming across. And they've had horrible problems down there. Huge, huge county. He's, this, he's a great guy. While we're driving, though, I looked up to the right. And I saw a coyote running along the hill, along the side of the hill. And I said, Sheriff, look, there's a coyote up there. And he goes, yeah, he said, they've been taking a lot of this guy's calves. They're just calving. So I said, well, <laughs> we've, got this, we've got this solution here. It's in between us. So he goes, are, are you kidding? I said, no, I'm not kidding. So he stops the car. I get out, start blasting away at this thing. <laughs> the guy, the, the two deputies, they, they got the glasses on. This thing is now, I'm not kidding, this is not a fish store. This was 300 yards if it was a, a foot. And now it's running like hell because somebody's shooting at it. <laughs> and, and so the, the guy, the deputies go, uh, the, you're, you're, you're high, Congressman, you're high. <laughs> so so I, I brought it down a little bit and boom. All I can see, because now it's, it's 400 yards, all I can see is a lot of dust, you know, and spinning around. And they're going, yeah, and they get everybody gets jumps up, and we're all high five get out of the car, everybody's high five and this congressman comes from Colorado, you should see, uh, you know, and uh, and so it was it was just this great day. And I, I got home that night, I was calling my wife, I said, <laughs> she said, how'd your day go? I said, oh, God, it was great, I shot a coyote. Now... <clears throat> For those of you that don't understand the humor there, you have to understand that there's this term we apply to people who, who smuggle people into the United States on the southern border, called coyotes, coyotes. And, uh, and she goes, you what? You what? I said, no, no, four-legged, four-legged. So I get to my office a couple of weeks later, and uh, I mean, I get in my office, and a couple of weeks later, kid walks over to me from our front desk and he says, hey, they, they just called from the mail room. At that time, you know, we had all this problem with what well, they still do with people mailing anthrax and various things. So all your mails, mail, so I'll tell you right now, save your anthrax, you know what I mean? Because it gets all scanned before it gets to the uh, congressman. But um, the, uh, so they, they call him and says, uh, the kid says to me, comes in and goes, congressman, they just called from the mail room. They want to know, uh, are you expecting any animal parts? <laughs> And I said, no, no, I don't think so. Uh, well, send him up. What the heck? Who's the... So I sent him up, opened this thing up. Sure enough, a couple of coyote ears in, in this little box, you know, shadow box thing. And I got a letter with it. It says, this is to attest that on January something or other, uh, Congressman Tom Tancredo, uh, Killed this coyote with a 400-yard running shot, oh, running shot with an open sight 30-30, and we have now made him the honorary predator control officer of Hudson County, Texas. <laughs>